China's internet giant Baidu has launched its AI bot Ernie to the public. Is it any good as other AI chat bots? We are curious and try it out for you. You can either use the browser version or as we do the smartphone application. However, there's one important trick you need to know when using Ernie bot, but we will share more details later. In comparison to many other chat bots, Ernie can talk to you like a human being. This is why once logged in, you can choose between a female called Yi or a male called Xiao Yen to answer your questions. In both genders you can choose the kind of pronunciation you prefer to hear. But listen for yourself. 你好,我是依依,你的专属智能助手。哇,这个世界怎么这么多好吃的? Those are the voices of Yi. What do you think about it? Let's check out the male Xiao Yan. 亲爱的,我会一直陪。我可是拥有超能力。本帅哥聪明风趣。你好,我是小严。Obviously, these settings only matter if you fancy to talk to the AI and prefer audio instead of text answers. If you think that this is strange, then be aware of cultural differences. In China it was common to send audio messages long before they became a standard here. Thus it is not strange that ErnieBot has an audio-first approach. Below you can choose how fast ErnieBot will answer you. Let's ask the AI if it can answer in English. Yes, it can. Great news for anyone that cannot read Chinese. Let's ask if the AI has access to the internet to include recent information. Wow, also this is good news for us it seems ErnieBot is connected to the internet. Before we start challenging ErnieBot with real prompts, let's check out the user interface. We are currently in the ErnieBot chat tab where typical interaction with the AI takes place. This is the community tab, and here you can see all sorts of recommendations and things the community did, including prompts. It is basically like a massive blog full of articles and comments. And this is the Discover tab that has more impressions to offer. You can find information on a variety of things for research reports, industry topics, Word and Excel related prompts, and many more. Now we are back into the chat tab of ErnieBot where we will continue check out the user interface. On the bottom you see that a female AI voice is active. You can start a new conversation, check a huge amount of prompting tools, upload a picture and talk to the AI. There is an endless amount of prompt tools available in the area of workplace creation, market analysis, thesis writing, graduation celebration and many more. You could probably say it is similar to prompt stacks where you can share stuff and be inspired in the context of prompt engineering. Now, let's put Ernie Bot to the test and challenge it with different kind of prompts. Write me a marriage invitation as save the date from John and Lily, which will take place in London on May 3, 2024. Make it sound very romantic. Oh no, it's all in Chinese. Let's ask to get in in English. And wow, it is not bad. Clearly some elements of romanticism built into the text. It would be interesting to see if ChatGPT could create a better text or not. I need a Python code to take a screenshot from a website. The answer is definitely surprising and it looks like ErnieBot could possibly be a great helper for software folks. However, what you see here is that you need to scroll by yourself as the app does not show the text when an entire page is filled. Summarize this website in 100 words maximum. Okay, this is not bad. All important elements are mentioned. The text quality is decent, but Perplexity AI would probably do a better job. Oh, and if you want to check out Perplexity AI, then you can watch our tutorial here. We tried another website, and also this worked perfectly. ErnieBot did an accurate job. Give me a book review on Goethe's Faust. Wow, the answer is great, and the Langs makes perfect sense. Very astonishing that an AI tool created by a Chinese firm targeting the Chinese market can master European literature. Well done, ErnieBot. Overall, ErnieBot is doing a great job even when we use it in English. 
If you want you can have a real conversation as Ernie puts a strong focus on audio priority. In audio mode, your microphone automatically turns on once Ernie is finished talking. This way you don't even need to click the send button. Besides that, ErnieBot is free to use, which is great compared to some of the other AI chatbots which require subscriptions to create similar quality outcomes. However, if you want to use ErnieBot you need to have a Chinese mobile phone number for authentication. And if you want to see how Claude AI performs as chatbot, you should check out this video.